Necro. I'm trying out Twitch Raccoon. The new Doctor Who game came out. You hear it on my computer? I'm about to start playing the new Doctor Who game. Alright, let's see what this game looks like. see audio menu master volume let's turn this down to about 40 I prefer doctor volume to be honest full screen no all right now that it's no longer full screen I should be able to Fix its size. Why am I hearing sounds? There we go. Graphics menu. Resolution. How's that? Is that an ideal resolution? No, it's a bit small, I think. Alright, since it's a bit small... I'll have to work in it a tiny bit. What's the next resolution up? 1920 by 1080. Perfect. I'm hearing some weird noises though, so. Okay, what, what what's the noise? What's the diff Why are we on no Okay, there we go. They were cellians. Anyway, let me get back to my game. All right. Getting back to my game. Here we go. It's called Doctor Who, The Edge of Reality. Am I streaming? I don't even know if I'm streaming, to be honest. This is my first time using Twitch. So I'm just going to double check to make sure that my stream is currently active. Okay, it is active. Can I hear myself? Okay, it is active. Can I hear what? myself? Okay, it is active. What? I'm hearing this weird noise on my stream. I'm hearing this weird noise on my stream. Wah! Noise. Noise, noise. Wah! Noise. Alright, it's fine now. I think it was just a sound effect causing the audio to. a bit weird. Alright. This stream is perfect. It's time to begin a new game. Start a new game? Yes, I'm starting a new game. Alright, Raccoon. We're entering the edge of reality. Hello? Oh, 
there's a problem with my frame rate. It's not picking up very well in the stream. Wonder how I can lower it. Oh no, the frame rate's fine, it's just OBS that is pretending it's bad. Alright. Starting this game, what do I see? It looks like somebody's behind there, unless that's just my reflection. Hearing somebody making sounds. Service washes. Please use the litter bin and help keep this laundrette tidy. So I should put my laundry in here? It's not a good solution. Coal Hill School. What about Copper Hill School? Or Iron Hill School? Alright, so there's a button that allows me to interact, but this audio is very loud. I'm just gonna lower the master volume a bit further to 15. There we go. So, what, there, there are laundry machines? Last wash, 6 p.m. Well, what time am I doing this wash? Because that was the last one. This is coffee. I have coffee now. And I also have some Rosy Reds detergent. Well, this is a very interesting game. I can do my laundry. People are leaving a lot of coffee cups in the area. Can I leave? Is this locked? The service washes? Okay. Load machine. Select program, add soap. How do I add soap? Audio is kind of quiet. Oh, there we go. I could talk to you using local tech, and believe you me, I need to keep in touch because sorry about this. You're the only one who can help me save the universe. Music's a bit loud for and the okay. audio. I'm the doctor. Hi, I'm doctor. Sure. I'm a semper hero. This is why I don't introduce myself to people. Really. Audio is getting a lot. Are you ignoring my master volume changes? It's an odd glitch in the game. Master volume just doesn't matter at times. All right, let's continue. Degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. Those creatures are. Vicious amphibians, sometimes used as guards by 
races like the Stenza and Zygons. They're washing machines. They're deadly carnivores with no tender manners and a taste for human flesh. They shouldn't even be in this system. We can thank the reality virus for them showing up here. Stay inside. Right now they're incubating, but that won't Okay, doctor. Long. Then they'll smash out of the machines. So you've got to get out of there sharpish. Oh, is that a Dalek? That's really cool. Looks like there's only one exit through the back door in the manager's office. Be careful, and whatever you do, go. Prepare for... Oh, that was someone's sound. Do not confront them. Okay. So, Ministry of Defense. The emergency alert system says to stay inside, keep quiet, prepare for military evac, and do not confront them. I'm hearing Daleks outside. But, real quick... I'm just gonna go feed Raccoon. Raccoon, have some... Yeah, you're getting somewhat low on food. Hey, hey, look over here. Raccoon. There we go. Alright, back to the game. So. This is a bit of a bad situation. I've wound up entering Silent Hill. And the doctor's asking me to avoid these monsters surrounding, well, I guess the building that I'm inside of. So how do I complete my laundry? And why is my toolbar gone? Lapis Lazuli. So this ring is enchanted. What? What mighty miniscope? Is this a quest that I accidentally made progress in? Alright, so you can press control to toggle crouch. It's very dark in here. What is this? Plug. We need to put the fuse block into the box to get the power back on. There we go. Great work with the fuse block. Give this back to Cortez for us, would you? Give the what? Take the photo frame and see if there's anything written on the back of it. As I was being taken, I managed a bit of trans magicery pokery. I popped a little present in the safe for you. But before you ask, I can't send anything else. Not from here. Anyway, open the safe, grab your present, and use it to unlock the door. What was the point of... Okay. Autumn 14. Time for a new You've got to room. Find the combination to the safe. It's four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go to 1019 personally. Lowest four digits, safe prime number, obviously. But I bet the manager used a pair of two-digit numbers. Numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. Alright, Autumn 14... Here's an image of a hallway. We could really do with a hand from Yaz, Ryan, and Graham right about now. They're pretty good at following clues and finding things. Yeah, I don't think they're here, though. That's unfortunate. All right, Doctor. I'm just reordering my windows so that I can see and make sure that my Twitch stream isn't dead. Well, I mean, it's Hello, dead, busy. but not in that sense. For me at the moment. You can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose. Dead me seriously. I'll explain more later. Doctor, what should I be picking up? How do I... How do I get rid of an object in my inventory. Oh. I can just- I can just chuck them, okay. Did it- Wait. Did that- Did that painting land in the trash? 
All right, picture of a street. Distortions in space, in time, in time. No, that. There, no, there we go. All right. So, let's see. Let's let's examine everything here. You've got to find the combination to the safe. Yep. It's four digits. If it was my okay. combination, I yeah, doctor, you said that. Before. Doctor, I'm on it. Those four digits say prime number, obviously. Listen, but doctor. Through recent times. That's a funny. No. All right. Laundry detergent. Paintings. Or no, these are photographs. Alright, well, if I were going to make a safe with a four-digit combination, I'd hide clues. Like, you know, Autumn 14. thermos all right what am I looking for doctor a model box we can really do the hands from Yaz Ryan and Graham right about now they're pretty good at following clues and finding things but they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment you can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose, dead mysteriously. I'll explain more later. All right. We where did, did that go through the? You've got to find the combination to the safe. It's four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go for ten nineteen personally. Lowest four digit safe prime number, obviously. All right, there's autumn but fourteen. I to use a pair of two digit numbers, numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they were. Alright, I have two items for the Mighty Miniscope. I don't know what the Mighty Miniscope is, but it's two items. Alright, given the fact that I can't actually put that in my inventory, I assume that the valuable materials really the Ryan and right about now. are the ones that I can't pick up. Things. But they're busy on secret missions for me at the moment. You can't see me, but I'm tapping the side of my nose, dead mysteriously. I'll explain more later. Number 83. Have a look on the back of it. You never know. One, four, eight, three. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver. All right. I've got a sonic screwdriver. I can hold right click and finally turn off the security camera because I don't like monitors and I'd rather have the power off right now. See, that's a, that, that's a joke raccoon because I'm using a monitor to play this game right now. Alright, are you hungry? All right, you're a bit hungry. I've got to feed you every minute or so. Back to the game. Ah. Thankfully, the sonic screwdriver allows me to open doors. It would be impossible without it. Seeing as it's fully made of wood and locked and everything. Holy shit. There's another coffee cup. Alright. I don't need that clock. Time is a lie. Is that a human scum? No, that's an egg. That is an egg or a turtle shell or a soccer ball, now that I look at it. Another coffee mug. 
There's another laundry machine. Nope. Can't go that way. Nope. You're not you're not looking at me, Dalek ship. I may have passed under your light. But we're not counting that. What, what was that? I saw something weird in that. No. Why was that shaking? Pick you up. Looks like I found the next location. Daleks, you won't be seeing me. Alright, we've got a clock. We've got some books. Distortions in space and time. Here's a distortion in space and time. This book keeps showing up. The second time I've seen it. Welcome to the Journal of Improbable Things. Written by you, or to put another way, me. Because you are me, and I am you if you're thinking. This isn't how I write. Because that's what I'd be thinking. That's because it's been edited by M and the Doctor, who just can't keep their mitts off. What's it for? It's to help you, me. You'll find scattered notes to assist and inform you whilst completing this quest. Collect all seven and slender men shall be slain. Because yes, you've done this before. Don't panic. The TARDIS, or is it the beginning? The TARDIS, or it is the beginning. I'm always getting those two mixed up these days. Dalek invasion of Earth. In this version of the universe, the Daleks have successfully invaded Earth. Let's just say it's not a friendly takeover. The Daleks are big on subjugation and brutality, so don't try appealing to their better nature, because they haven't got one. Their conquest of Earth is another reason why you have to undo the effects of the reality virus. Alright. You know, it's kind of like that game The Room which is my favorite game. Oh, am I just collecting doctor items? I want to put on that leather jacket, but I guess it's difficult to do, seeing it's vanished from my inventory. All right, so I picked up a key. Here's a security camera showing this room. How's it doing that? Where is the camera? That's not important. What is important? There's some jump rope. All right. My inventory is too full to pick up the object. Yeah, I'm just gonna see which picture don't I need. Picture of hallway. On no. Picture of street. No. Picture of TARDIS and street. No. Clipped through the wall. Picture of... T oh, they're all pictures of the TARDIS, are they? I didn't see the TARDIS on them before, but... I guess that's what they have in common. Alright, what did she say that I was supposed to do? 
to get to the TARDIS or something. Thought I was supposed to get your object from the safe, and then do something. Ah. The next page. Let's see what this says. There we go. The Doctor's external nemesis. Eternal nemesis. Driven by a desire to terminate everything that is not them. Near invincible, their eye stalks tend to be the most vulnerable part of their outer casing. But they can be obliterated by Dalekanium bombs or by turning their own weaponry against them. Or you could try pushing one out the window. Won't damage it, but it's a great stress buster. Ah, yes. Pushing a Dalek out of the window is great for relieving stress, especially when you know that Dalek's gonna kill you afterward. It's, uh, it's what I'd do. Then again, that's why I wrote it. After all, this journal was written by me from the future. It's a cool premise. I like this game. Flammable Liquid 3. Where's Fem? Where's Flammable Liquid 2? Ah. Oh, that's what it looks like when you die. I get it. So I have to hide from this Dalek. But the bus has been dropped back where it was from. Alright, how do I... No, never mind. This is where I'm supposed to go. No, you didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. Really? Really? So the... Okay. You know, all right. This doctor this this There we go. Running is possible now. What? You didn't This Dalek will notice if I get close. So how do I distract them? What? Really? So I can't... I can't sneak past you. The only way I can... beat you, I'd imagine, is... If I wait... You look... Can I not pick you up? Can I not drop a bus on top of you? How do I get past you, Dalek? Do I... I can't run the direction I came from because this bus is in the way. So if I try running behind you, you'll hear me. What if I'm crouching? Alright, I'm currently crouching. Nope. You can see me when I do that. 
running time. No, it didn't work. All right, in this level. I still had a valuable item, I could throw it at the Dalek. Unfortunately, all I have are these cables I put inside this machine and still have access to. Really? How do I get past you? How do I get past you? You're saying interact. Do I just... Can I interact with you? There we go. My human has rendered me inoperative. Let the creature's blood pay for this ignominy. That's the power of finding hitboxes. Or what's in this what's in this crate? No, it's the same there's a red crate and a blue crate. supposed to go through the other crate. Okay. This is the Dalek's crate. I hear the doctor's voice. Unfortunately, the doctor is not here. But where are you, doctor? Are you in this other red crate? Finally. Now I'm fully in Silent Hill. Sorry to interrupt you. Do me a favor, would you? Mm. Pop this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Alright. Thanks. Look, that door won't hold the Hydrox for long. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help you escape. Okay. You're gonna need three things. First, the radio I'm speaking to you through. I have it. One off. You'll also need a power source, some sort of battery, and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Okay. I have to find those last two. This looks a bit like a satellite dish. Oh, we're here. Don't want to worry you, but the Hydrox are getting stronger, and I'll soon be through that door, so get a move on. All right, give me a minute, Doctor. I gotta feed Raccoon. Speaking of which, Raccoon. How do you like this game? Okay, there's got to be a satellite dish somewhere around here. Yeah, I put it on pause, but you know. The sound effects are just that nice. How's your food doing? Here we go. There's got to be some kind of powerful battery That's in the junkyard. Alright. Back to my gaming. Raccoon, what do you think of the game? I think it's pretty cool. It's like the room in Silent Hill. Try finding a car battery. That should do the trick. A car battery, you say? How convenient. There's a car that... ...crashed right here. What was that? Would you say that, Doctor? What did you say? Oh, I am loving your work. 
Oh, Sonic the Crate. No, that's not what you said. There we go. I did it. I've summoned the TARDIS. No. No, I haven't. Oh. Oh, sh oh shit. No. No, it's not. This is a... No, it this is a satellite dish. There's the TARDIS. Exterminate what? do this. We're saving all of creation. Yeah, let's go. That's me. I'm, I'm flying that. I'm flying the TARDIS. Yeah, I learned how to pilot it. Now this is really neat. Here we go. Where is the TARDIS landing? The answer's right here. Here's the TARDIS. See, Raccoon? Welcome aboard. Oh, Come my in, game's then. back. Make yourself at home. Here, I'm just gonna feed you. Raccoon, there we go. Wish I had time to give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. Doctor, wait, I'm, I'm so, loading my game. the skinny. Do people still say he is the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it, to be honest with you. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture, I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where okay. I should be. Doctor, doctor, unfortunately for you, that way. the game is, in, is ignoring my master volume settings again. I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. But I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Yeah, alright. Zyton is where you come in. And cool. if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton, and let's get one thing absolutely straight. Yeah. One very important thing. We are so calling the time crystals from now on, because that sounds way cooler. The hologram is going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the console, and I'll tell you what needs to be done. Hold on, the this is the first time I've seen a proper remote. view of the TARDIS. Don't take it personally, it just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff Autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it, and I'll guide you through what you need to do. Yeah, hold on a sec. So, there's a TARDIS door right there. You can't really see anything behind it. And then there's a TARDIS door right here. They're not lit, so you can't exactly see what things are, but those are two doors. I'm assuming that's another door back here, maybe? No, maybe not. They're just two doors at the front of the TARDIS. Aside from that, there's just this console room. That's what the uh, that's what the new TARDIS currently looks like for the interior. Okay. 
Okay, where's the biscuit machine? I want... I want a biscuit. How do I get the biscuit? There. Okay. What? There said, we go. Alonzi. One, two, three, four. All right, that's how it works. Oh, you're getting good at this. There we not go. Not as fast as my PB, but you're knocking at the door. Well, you're approaching the porch. Drive me. Call this at whatever. Okay. And TARDIS explosion. Exactly what I tried to do. One, two, three, there we go. Four. It's four. One, two, three, four. Never mind. Doctor. I hate to break it to you, but these controls aren't great. One. Two. Three. Four. Doctor, I'm following your instructions. Are those the only four? Doctor. One. Okay. Doctor, what did you do that for? there's, I'm inputting the four. The 
this diff thing light up for a second on the other side. Okay. I have to look for everything that can move now. Show me, show me what we have to use, Doctor. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. I'm piloting a TARDIS. I'm impressed. We've landed on Lucia Minor. Once you step outside the TARDIS, I won't be able to communicate with you. At least not this time. The local auto defenses won't allow it. I have a feeling you won't be on your own for long, though. But you've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever, and the universe is toast. Okay. Good luck. You can all right. do this. Uh, all right, Raccoon, we're... We're on a new planet. Something... Minor something just happened. What just happened to the TARDIS? Wait, no. Looking from here, there are there any? Are there any doors? Or is it just one room? You know, let's ignore that. Wow. Look at these beautiful local butterflies. Appearing and disappearing in thin air. This planet is truly beautiful. Why wouldn't you pick up that big shiny tablet? Oh my days! It really is you! Ah. I couldn't wait to see you again. Look, I've got to be quick because there's a time glitch and I can hear the So just listen to me. You're on Lucia Minor. Everyone thinks everything is okay, but it's not. Okay. Alright, so a voice message just played. It was very quiet, and I couldn't really examine the tablet, but... A glitch. Now this, this is what the game is about. This is the coolest thing ever. Look at that. Another time glitch. It's so awesome. I'm traveling between dimensions. Uh, speaking of, you know, one, one aspect of the time glitch which has happened multiple times and is just a glitch is my audio becoming super loud just a reminder that 20 percent is the volume that i'm supposed to have it's weird how this keeps happening wouldn't you agree raccoon are right, you you are getting hungry here let me give you a sand star japari bun and get back to playing the game Ah, this menu screen. I could change the gamma and make it brighter or darker. I'm not exactly sure what that would accomplish. But, you know, it's an option. Something that I can do if I want to.
Oh, wow, this is the brightest. All right. Well, not changing the brightness setting then. Raccoon, we're currently in the middle of a jungle at night. Stay close to me. I don't see any mobs around. That's good. If you're scared, Raccoon, just know that I'm always there with you. There's another campfire. It's really dark, isn't it? We could probably use some light. Cool. Check out that box. Yeah, they did a walkie-talkie. This is very the room. This is very cool. All right. Raccoon, don't be scared. We have a black light. There's a sound in the woods, a roaring sound. The roaring and that a stick. No, I'm gonna pick up that sick if I can't. No, I can't pick up the sick. That's neat. So there's a box. And another item for the mini scope. This is very cool.
Is that a Discord sound? Alright, I'm back. I just got food. Raccoon, how about I feed you? Yay. We're getting pretty hungry, I know. But we're having fun. We're exploring the different dimensions of Doctor Who. This is really cool, Raccoon. Alright, come on. Check out. Raccoon? Raccoon, where you, raccoon? Raccoon, what are you looking? What are you looking for, raccoon? Come on. Come on, raccoon. Raccoon, I'm gaming. Raccoon, come on. Raccoon. Raccoon, come with me. Gaming time. Raccoon, here we go. All right, let's game. So, there's a trail of blood leading to this skeleton. I wasn't using the black light, so I didn't see it at first. But now I do see it. They also see that there, there are what appears to be first aid kits in this tent. First aid kits that I'm never going to, uh, I'm never going to use them because I can't click on them. But there's blood. There's a skeleton right there. Somebody was running away from probably the thing that was roaring. Oh. Violent. Yikes, there are two paths. The path up here and the path over there. Alright. Alarming. Well, now I have this grenade. Hold on. Raccoon, stop walking in front of my screen. That's okay. You're all right. Gaming resume. So, mysterious chest. Someone was murdered on here. I don't know why they were murdered, but they were. That was probably their skeleton. Well, they were attacked. They ran off. Somebody else is attacked. They ran off in this direction. Where did you go? Where did you go, dead person? I should probably use a normal flashlight, but I don't want to miss the black light. I mean, I know there's only one direction you could take, but still. Sonic screwdriver time. Oh.
All right. Raccoon. Nah, she's... Were you always there? Tablet voice person. Oh. Alright, I am not making those sam- The Raccoon. Listen, Raccoon, I'm gonna feed you. Stop running around. I got a game. I got a game, raccoon. Just stop making noise. Stop walking through the door. Alright, these are puzzles. Alright, these are puzzles. Blue. Red. Red. Green. Red. Blue. No, blue, red, green. Okay. Blue. Red, green. No, I don't have the red one. I just have the green one, which means I'll have to go with the second format. Red. Blue. No. Really? Can't move them anymore? I just have to find... Yeah, not really. No, they can't. They can't be moved at all. Not once you put them in the right space. Alright, Doctor. I think I know where the other plugs are. There's a hexagon. A light and a door. Maybe not a path that way. There are two places where I can imagine there are lights, or rather plugs, as they're called. Location number one. That weird spot with all the blood. Location number two. One of the places I've been to before. Because aside from the weird spot with the blood, I've been everywhere. Everywhere in time and space according to this journal. Alright, miniscopes. The original miniscopes stored miniaturized creatures who were unaware they were trapped in artificially created environments so audiences could gawp and gaze at them as they went about their lives. The doctor had them banned. There's one in the TARDIS, though. But, you know, these new miniscopes can only store inanimate objects and digital representations. So, yeah, a bit duller, but ethical. Very ethical. I agree. Thank you, doctor, for for banning mini-scopes. The TARDIS is the Doctor's home, a craft that can travel through time and space, which she nicked from her own people a long time ago. What you need to know, you can pilot it, with a bit of help, but you can't use it to travel back along your own timeline. That would be cheating. It might also rip a hole in the fabric of time slash space. Not good. The Tasmas. The Tasmas are failed as Leicesters, banished from the beautiful. They live and hunt in the shadows. Any semblance of aesthetic similarity to the Leicesters, long gone. Although they probably don't recognize this fact, they're bitter, cruel, and desperate to damage any individual not in their tribe. In a sense, they should be pitied. They're truly lost. Damn, that's an angry journal entry. Are you sure you're future me? I don't really have a temper. What about you, new journal page? I'm hoping this one just a bunch of scribbles of a long, tall guy with tentacles and 
words like die, run, escape, there is no hope, major typos, just like keyboard mashing. That's the kind of stuff I'd write in a journal. Alright, so, didn't see any plugs here, and I can't move the plugs I already put down. Means I gotta find more back in the earlier areas. Oh. That was something. Detecting another glitch, and I think something's trying to get through. Yeah. That is a Cyberman. Okay. Let's go in the... No, I'm fighting a Cyberman. Wait. Wait, that Cyberman was all on its own. Is, is that the lone Cyberman? Am I about to find out that I'm the timeless child? This is pretty pug, champ. All right. Something's very not right with this place. Yeah, I kind of agree. All right. So, the only place I can go is well, further in this direction, I guess. These visuals are very cool. Alright. Another campsite. Is this where you're leading me? Thank you, Cyberman. I have become the Cyberman. Cyberman screwdriver time. I supposed to find here? This bottle? Oh. There we go. Thanks for the achievement. Alright. Well, it looks like there's nothing here. I still can't access whatever's inside of that tent. But there is this plug. Which will hopefully be useful for something. Not sure why that area's over there. What do you have to say about it, future me? One legend suggests that the Cyber Reaper was born at the end of the last great cyber war, on the smoking, blood-drenched fields of Reisenbach. Broken bodies of Cybermen lay besides human corpses. No one knows quite how, but parts of the shattered cyber bodies reassembled as one figure, as if amalgamated, and brought to life through sheer strength of will and resolve for revenge. Galactic Insurance and Salvage Incorporated, third generation, stipulated the Lucia Miner must always travel with at least 24 engineers abroad. The two dozen individuals often entertain themselves on camping by an outside terrain deck. During one such break, the Tasma struck. Galactic Insurance and Salvage Incorporated, third generation, can now claim their contract with the LM is dead, just like the engineers. That's unfortunate. Well, good thing I'm not engineer any of the danger. Speaking of which, I actually have a journal just like this. 
a journal of notes to myself. Yeah, it's raccoon. I'm just gonna feed you because you're getting hungry again. But no, I have a journal right here. Let's see, subscribe to s yeah, it's a list of things to do. Yep. It's a very cool list of things to do, raccoon. Back to gaming. If you hold shift. You move faster. And I got a Discord notification. Just gotta check that real quick. Not sure who's making the notification sounds. I'm going to ignore them. All right, back to the game. You know, Raccoon. I think people are watching me. I think people can see my movements. Right there. Did that do anything? All right, so I still need one red plug right there. Cool. And where is this red plug? It's it's not out here. Is it is it in that other place I went to? I guess it could be. Time to check it out. All right. Raccoon, you always pick up items for me. It would be it would be helpful if you could do that in this game, but no, you're just watching my screen. That's fine. One day they'll make it two player. There it is. The final plug. This is blood, by the way. I know the fact that it... I know the fact that it's shining under this light is misleading, but... This is a black light, so when you look at this, you can see stuff that, that's normally not really visible anymore. So, it's not like a reality glitch. This is a real-life science. You can see blood through a black light. I mean, if you shine it on a person, you don't see the blood through them. That's not how it works. If you've been to laser tag before, in one of those laser quest places, 
You might notice that you don't see somebody's blood through their skin. That's because that's not how it works. Alright. Right there. Here we go. Now they're glowing bluer. And something is happening. Do I... What do you mean... What do you mean by try activating? There we go. Oh, it's a puzzle. I see. I'm supposed to find out the pattern. I'm very good at puzzles, which is how I know that this is a puzzle. Well done, mate. Thank you. Ah, you're you're trapped and know about the time crystal somehow. I don't know who you are. There was a tablet. I couldn't look at the tablet. I could just hear your voice from it. I'd like to find out who you are. Oh. This area. So maybe I can work for you guys. There's definitely something not right here. If you're sponsored by the assassins, why is there blood on your ship? My intuition tells me. Something went wrong. I remember this place. Me and Jerry used to play cards here. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Hmm. The door leading to the bridge is sealed shut. But that's where I'm trapped. You have to find a way to unlock it so you can get to me. Don't worry. A person I don't remember.
Oh. Cool. But what am I supposed to be pointing at? Those cranes look like they make the mechanism spin. Yeah, they do. What should I be firing the laser at? My guess is out there. I get it now. I'm supposed to find a third one of these, huh? Maybe I only need two. We'll find out in one second. All right, raccoon. I don't need your help, but I'd appreciate it. Do you think we should open the other room again? Oh. I get it now. You want me to hit both of these objects with lasers. This should get the job done. Is it not? What are you after? Hitting everything. Where? What? What's the issue here? I've got one hitting one of these panels. One hitting the other one of these panels. I'm controlling the lasers perfectly. Is this what you want me to do instead? You want me to hit all six of them, that's your goal. No, you want me to take this. 
I see now. That's what the game is. Hit all six of them in three, two, one, fire. Hold on, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? What do you mean more capable than I looked? Alright, raccoon. Raccoon. Is this true? Do I not look capable to you? I look very capable. Look at me. This is what capability looks like. See how capable I am? I'm capable of feeding you. I'm capable of petting you. I'm very capable, raccoon. And I look it, too. Oh. I was- I didn't show my screen for any of that. See? I care about you, raccoon. Gaming time. I turned the anti-gravity off or on. Not sure if there's gravity right now. I think there is. I'm trying to pick up this object. It's difficult to grab. Come on. Come on. Why? Why are you too far? There we go. Oh. I can move wherever I point now. These doors don't open. But these boxes move where I want them to move. I guess I really am in space. Come on, box. We're going downstairs. I can still crouch in no gravity. That's weird. Good thing I'm back here. These things just automatically realign themselves. That's a weird effect of the glitch. A weird effect of the time glitch. Is that you? Is that you? Oh, is it the people with life signs that are not dead? I'm 
gonna read my journal to find out what this place is. Okay, the Lucia Miner is a spacecraft. So the deck where we were was not a planet. It was part of the spacecraft. That explains the artificial gravity. The Ghost Croissant. Now the Ghost Quadrant. So the Lucia Major, which this ship was connected to, went missing in wherever that place is. Cool. The Zleisters. Okay. So the Zleisters are these guys who are currently sleeping. We are overjoyed that you've come here. Okay. We welcome you. Thank we you. We love you. We love you. We're the Zleisters. We left our home world many, many overnights ago. Journey. Yeah. So much hope. I've been on a journey our too. Our family said we were mad, but we wanted to push ourselves, prove ourselves, gain more followers. But there was a malfunction in our beauty. There was a malfunction in our vanity. There was a malfunction in our life support systems. Ah. SS Lucia Miner's navigation systems condemned our ship to float in a void of nowhere as for all eternity. But now you have found us. Now you can help us. Yeah, I'll do that. We know you seek the time crystal. I also seek if followers. You the ship systems and set us free. We will help you. We can collab. We take care of you. Listen. Listen, the time crystal. Oh, shit, guys, guys, I'm not done saying. Listen, we can collab, we can collab. Guys, guys, stop the mach- What are- what are your channel names? Shit. Alright. Well. I'm down here. You said interact. I, there we. How do I hit things? What am I trying to interact with? There. The interact button popped up again. For what? There. There. There we go. I did it. I fixed the time crystal. Now, the day is saved. I did. Yeah, this is my. This is my spaceship now. a really sad story. Oh, I failed to protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. Alright. My friend. 
Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. The Slicers feed on attention. Hold on, I gotta feed Rakion. Here he goes, the Lyster. And without it, they'd evolve into Tazmus, mute, feral hunters banished from the Slicer community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've set a course to power bomb a sun. The ship's drive unit will cause a supernova, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. Leister's plan of getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable. But their weapon, being put on trial for genocide, will give them all the attention they crave. Emma, I need you really? to the ship's flight plan. And That's their the plan? We came here for. Can you help? They could have just done an oh, unboxing video. The have locked me out of the system. A let's oh, play. But there's a manual override. Right then, my human friend. A reaction Zero. video. We need to put Emma in the driving seat, so you've got to override those three control terminals. They're Charge choosing to blow up a sun. All right, sonic screwdriver time. Brill, keep going. Audio settings are failing too. There we go. Chances of survival zero percent. Thank you for flying with the SS Lucia Minor. You're welcome. All right. I got a time crystal. I killed an entire Welcome spaceship of people. You've got it's the first time crystal. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the sonic screwdriver. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's databanks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time. So, no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird. Me, talking to you like this via the nanotranslator in your brain. No, not really. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that. But I can't help you in any physical sense. Soz. Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. Alright. TARDIS activating time. 
Here we go. This is an interesting part of the game, Raccoon. I've made a new friend, Emmer. Huh. I guess since the sound's already played, there's uh, not much to do but, but wait. Hello, London. Years a bit fuzzy, but end of the Victorian era, I'm guessing. And from the readings the TARDIS is relaying to me, I'd say the time crystal is... Oh, you know what? I think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. Let's take a closer look where we are. You, want, you mean go outside? I can't guide you this time. I've got too much to do back here. But Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal. So get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. All right. Me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. How does she detect the time crystal? With that's fine. Let's go. This is really cool. We're traveling to other locations. Here we go. Amazing. The TARDIS has reverted back to its Series 11 state, and we have Not gone back surprise, to Earth. Eh? Don't forget we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. Are, are you the Siberium, Emmer? Is that why the Cyberman is following us? something to open that gate. It looks like it's rusted shut. Hello, this way. Stories about the Cyber Reaper. Ghost stories, legends, warnings. It never stopped. It's upgrading itself, using parts from other Cybermen. It is literally the best of the best. Or should that be the worst of the worst? I should go in here then. You know, I don't know what you have against this Cyber Reaper, but they've been helping me, so. Kind of cool. Or did I just walk in a circle? You know what? I think that's what they call running into dead ends. I don't have any dead ends. I have a sonic screwdriver. Why is... There, oh, there are lights in there. All right. I'm looking for many scope items. Where are they? Where are the many scope items that the Cyberman leads me to? I don't really see any mini scope materials here, but if I take a left and go down this way, there's probably going to be something. You know what? I think it's around here somewhere. I 
I guess I was right. That looks really cool. Great news! We found it! Oh. And something's crawling in there. Sir Manfred Grail, collector of Obje Dark. Posh way of saying he's a hoarder when it comes to knickknacks. Oh. Can't use that as a weapon then. Yeah, I'll use that. Collecting some. Oh, fading to black. Here we go. This is just the volume now. Wow. Okay. You really. Really don't care about my volume settings, do you? But I appreciate the transition to Silent Hill. Here we go. That. That is an odd symbol. Sounds like Lego Batman. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Yeah. Check out that old cylinder photograph by the window. How do you reckon you get it to play? You need a key. That's how you get it to play. I don't need that anymore. Got skulls. This is my new technique. It's how I fight mobs and enemies. Skull throw. Skull throw. What the fuck? It looks like a couple of the pieces are missing. Where'd the skulls go? That was the A weird tube probably for this thing. Wind it up, and let's see if it still works. All right. Good evening, my friend. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of metals grill and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far, mon comrade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Mm -hmm. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... Here we go. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... Special lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. 
It is protected. That warning I promised you. The cabinet is guarded by okay. my angels. Oh. Although I suspect that since the changes, oh, shit. they may no longer be my angels. Okay. I fear they are coming. And will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Yeah. I know what you're gonna say. Run for a big fat boy. But Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. What the fuck? Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Angel's eat you. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Cry baby bunting. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting. Want to fetch the precious stones. But the angels What the fuck is this? Eat your bones. Should I not have been throwing skeletons around? You know what the scary thing is? The fact that my audio keeps getting very loud. The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. Leaf book. I wonder if there might be something helpful which isn't here yet. Now these books are certainly helpful. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. Ah, very cool. Combining the room and Silent Hill. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's... Yuck! Bugs! Le leaf... Worm... Round worm beetle. Well, now I know the order. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting Leaf. above the fireplace. Round worm beetle. Where is worm? Are you worm? Skull toss. Wow, a perfect landing. Uh, wrong one. Let's try again. Oh, I can fit books in here. The fuck? Where'd my book go? Leaf. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. When I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that yeah. could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Well, Okay, I think... and the next one. I think there's a good Sorry, chance. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. Whoa. Expect that. Let's vote. Let's lower the volume first. Blow it. I really want my skull back. I'll make do with this. Free me. Use the flames. Throw the painting into the fire. Move. Did it? I 
I hate doing this just because my audio gets fucked, but here we go. two locations. Large, loud volume. There's a purple flower. Beetle. It's painting. Images of plants. Images of butterflies. An elephant. Same elephant, twice. Bizarre. Now, what do they mean by flames? My bone, shit. Alright, there's the elephant. There's the other elephant. There's the flame. to the demon painting before she gets annoyed. Yeah. Bring me home into the light. Sounds like a... That door. Someone just opened it. This is getting very cool. Someone was here. Who was it? Also, what do they want? Also, where are they right now? Somebody was in here. Yeah, that's that's what I expected. That really was not nice at all. Yeah. A key. Wait a second. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that chronograph. Okay. What the fuck was that? Did you see that table? That was nuts. Oh shit. Useful. Black light setting. Obvs. You've got to get the crystal from the time cabinet. Will mean avoiding the angels. I can then try to contact the doctor using the crystal's special properties. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize down here. Just yeah. making sure. Hey, making sure. You can do this.
This is not good. Oh. Why do I hear the sounds of moving stone? Oh, that's very bad. They're not moving yet, but they will. I guarantee those angels are going to start moving, and that's not good. I'm also going to, like, bump into one of them walking backwards. It's the time crystal. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. It's not really cold in here. We're not alone. Oh shit. Hey, they're all looking at each other though. Things got pretty hectic back there. Yeah, they did. Quite a good team, don't you? That was very what? close. Speaking of which, quick break from the game. I gotta feed Raccoon. <laughs> raccoon, did you did you just drop plasm? Thank you, Raccoon. You've never dropped plasm for me before. This is the first time ever. I could make something with this. Alright, let's get back to the game. We're having fun gaming, Raccoon. Here, stand up. Let's work in this game together. Give me input. away from earth back in a tick and you might want to find something to hang on to oh what does that okay, mean pull the activation lever and let's go yeah one sec hey hey raccoon raccoon there you are we're about to go how much downtime do you need we've got a cosmos to save are you ready to save the cosmos, raccoon? Because I am. Cosmos saving time. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> ah. So that's what this is. The mini scope. Cybermat, Cyberman head, Dalek gunstick arm, I don't know, Choclophane or whatever they're called, Fob Watch, Pheasant Bow Tie, an old scroll. It's probably something that teaches you how to cultivate. An iPad, 
A really long scarf. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I already have the scarf. I already have a scarf, rather. Cyberman converter piece? That's something. A helmet. It's not Santar, no. Some sort of helmet. Epic Pog Champ goggles. The Elixir of Life, also known as the thing that lets you become a Time Lord in the Dalek mod. A bowl for soup. Those are the items I still have to find. Well, Emmer, let's go. Are, are we not going anywhere? Ah. I have to start the TARDIS again. Raccoon, hold on tight. Here we go. Nicely done. We've landed on. Let me see. Metabilis 4. Metabilis oh, well, 4? It's better than Metabilis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabilis 1 or 2. They were great. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. Well, now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Yep. Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, Planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Trillions of or years maybe ago. I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. Cosmos expanded, planets and stars became vast galaxies, and light spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being. Holy let's shit. Call her it's Shovelhead. While well, she slept for billions of years. The but sister the of Pyramid Head. This really is a sequel to Silent Hill. Faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations. To eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. Why are she's you so tall? Forms over the years, but now I believe she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right. Oh holy shit, she's right here. Oh no. Doctor, she's right she's here. Oh oh my god. Shovelhead is right here. Holy shit. Oh my god. In my restless dreams, I pilot this TARDIS the fuck away from here. She wants redemption. Shit. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. Oh, she's we, gone. Well, I did it. We have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. Alright, I'm going to be very careful. Raccoon. Let's run.
sends the blow across the surface of this planet, somehow blocking those artery movements. That means you're gonna have to find the last time you saw There we go. Thank you. I will. That's it. Keep doing that. I think it's working. Get off soon. It is shit. Right. I may have spoken too soon. Hey, at least it can't get any worse. What you should have said was at least it can't get any louder. about to get much worse. Uh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? That's a Dalek. I thought this place was meant to be serene. Scanning sensors indicate you are not a Dalek. You will be exterminated. The Dalek combat is my favorite part of this game. Here we go. Work, 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 work. That's it. Yes! Okay. I've tapped into the TARDIS database. And you know I said things couldn't get any worse? Yeah, well, I was wrong. Really? That time was well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystals. The more immediate problem... I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks, all pretty close to where we are now. I'm guessing more cheese graters from hell. Stay sharp, okay? And stay out of their sight. Whatever that was, has just sent my circuits cold. Do this same as before, okay? Slow and stealthy. Attention, all combat units patrolling the temple. Intruders must be exterminated. Yeah, you're not good at being security guard, are you? 
What? The power of stealth defeats you. Are you fuck? Wait. Can I wear this? Can I wear this as a hat and pretend to be a Dalek? No. We need to get that door open. Okay. Hey, Dalek. No. No. Need to get that door open. Yeah, I'm aware. Locate the enemy. Locate the enemy. Locate. Locate. Scanning. Scanning. That Dalek is blocking our way. We need to get it to move. We commencing patrol. Hello. Ah. Oh, good. We're fine then. That is true. Now that's what I call. Oh shit! It's the lone Cyberman. For me personally, I'll take the TARDIS database over killer aliens any day of the week. You'll soon be the fountain of all improbable knowledge. Really? I wanted to collect the thing on the other side of the room. Let's do this. What the fuck just happened? Why do I have a... Why? Uh, just, just keep 
going. Okay. Get us through those doors. The entry the bus is eliminated. All right. So, this is now a Dalek mini game. Raccoon, what Let's do you think do about this. that? Not very interesting, I know. Fire! The intruder must be eliminated! The intruder must be eliminated! Okay, get us through those doors. The intruder must be eliminated! Hold on a sec. Intruder must be eliminated! There's plenty more target practice coming up. Blast the intruder must be eliminated! The intruder must be eliminated! The intruder must be eliminated! Watch out for that drone! The intruder must be eliminated! The intruder must be eliminated! The intruder must be eliminated! Damage incurred! My gun has a cooldown. Really? The human is using Dalek casing as subterfuge. It must be destroyed. I want to the lower. The human is using Dalek casing as subterfuge. My volume. It must Ah, shit. No. Really? All right. This aiming doesn't work especially well, but it's it's fine. Here, there we go. The fuck? Thank you. 
damn it, I'm on cooldown. There we go. This is not it. This is not where I was trying to go. So destroying those panels, the breakable ones, is pretty good. But at the moment, I cannot discern the effect. Excuse me, asshole. Ah. Now I'm super powerful. I can murder all the Daleks. power up that I had temporarily. Yeah, really? Okay, taking a moment. Is my goal to kill all of the Daleks. Also, how are they locating me? Damage them so hard they die. So my goal is just to kill all of them. Make sure every Dalek is dead. I'm 
makes some sense. But that means I still have Daleks out here to kill. Yes. Yes, it is death. It must be destroyed. Right, so I've killed all of the Daleks. Giant hole opened up. And now, wherever I walk, it's the map fall apart. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped such a large section of the map. I feel now as if jumping down there skipped a cutscene. There we go. This is the cutscene I was waiting for. Whoa, a whole chunk of the map. No, never mind, it's back. I thought a whole chunk broke off at once. But it was just render distance there is a way out of here right there is to go back up here. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Daleks are dead. I believe I've won. I would like to know what is preventing me from continuing. What are those explosion sounds? Is there some kind of glitch? Nope, I just had to stand in this platform. What the fuck? 
Are you kidding me? Shit. Shit. I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. There we go. What? Oh. It would be nice if I could hit my target in front of me. There we go. That was choppy in game too, by the way. This is intense. But it's during intense moments like these. That we have to complete our most important of chores. Raccoon. Good, good. Good. Alright, gaming again. Oh, they're not fully dead yet. Alright, the way this works is very easy. Wait for the four of these to recharge, and then destroy the force field. Second. Kill this Dalek first, Emmer. Whoa. 
That Dalek casing. It's gone. Oh, man. I was starting to feel at home in there. There must be a way to activate this stone dais. The TARDIS. What? What's it doing here? We've got to go in and see what's happening. Any collectible items? Yeah. No. no. Taking this with me. This is my companion cube. Holy shit! What? The tar. What's going on? The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out reality. Oh no. The TARDIS has been broken. Hold on a sec. I've been feeding raccoon. It's time I feed my own mouth. BRB.
that was some good food. Breaded chicken. Speaking of feeding. Raccoon, have I fed you? Here you go. What's with this particle? I guess it's happiness. Happiness and excitement. Because we're continuing to play The Edge of Reality, Doctor Who. Yeah, this is The Edge of Reality, Doctor Who. Okay. We're in the inner temple of the first. We are. And here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful. You say it like it was a bad thing. Power kind of is. in the right hands can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, mother, no best. I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? Yes. The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Hold on. Isn't that... Yeah. Talk about tough love. Hold on a minute. Raccoon? Raccoon, can I talk to you about this for a sec? This plot. I'm not... I'm not saying it's bad. It's just... I don't know how I feel about it. Well, you see, Raccoon. My worry is that the antagonist is this supreme being from the beginning of time who sort of can create anything they want and their confusion is they didn't understand that people would make bad choices but you know the only two reasons people make bad choices are you know because they they were created with desires to do things that are bad to other people and not knowing any better. So this ancient being created a bunch of civilizations and deliberately made it so that they didn't know everything they couldn't tell the future or read minds which led to a lot of people taking more than what was necessary causing you know a lot of the negative stuff that she has a problem with but also she made them want to actively hurt each other why what's what's the logic behind that because as the doctor said spoonhead didn't realize that everybody would fight each other and do harmful things despite the fact that she deliberately made them that way you want to get back to the game yeah okay yeah it's, it's not she's the antagonist she doesn't have to be logical just sit down you're gonna open doors if you don't all right let's go gaming time I love you all Good night. okay wait hold on a minute right, now let's continue I'm gonna need your help more than ever now because okay. the universe is hanging by a thread the reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, 
I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. Back in the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals, because she knew the first was watching her. And by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory, and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualise it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. Alright. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Oh. Is it the TARDIS? Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. Is the TARDIS that I threw and Who lost sight of? That would be unfortunate. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that page, give me that page, give me that page, give me that page. Is that a painting? Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Oh, there's, there's some bleach. Anything that stands out? Any markings? There is something on a book. When you see it, grab it. There. It's the weird marking. I'm getting. It looks like the first object you're after is a small clock. Grab yeah. it. Yeah. Great. There we go. And our neural connection is Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. loud again all right where is object number two Yep. That checks out. But I can't grab it. Unless that's the tablet. But that's a laser machine. Really, can I can I not grab anything? Suggest the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. Really? A tablet? If only there was a tablet here. My readings suggest the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. Yeah, your readings would suggest that, wouldn't they? There's a tablet right there that I can't click on for whatever reason.
my readings suggest. Do they? Piece of the doctor's is it a tablet? Is disguised as a tablet? Wow. My readings suggest the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. A tablet, you say? Well, unfortunately, I don't see any tablets here. Just a glowing, floating rectangle that I can't click on. If this, if this is an hour of gameplay, just My reading suggests trying to click. Okay, assuming that's not the tablet, what is the tablet? It's not the sleep cage. It's not the walkie-talkie. Is it that? That weird floating triangular item the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet it's that control panel wow it's really close on a sec. Level progress will not be saved. What do you My reading suggests the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. I really hope this is not the tablet. And that there's something else that I should be clicking on that I'm not clicking on. But this is the only tablet that I can see. That looks like a tablet, not one of those laser shining things. My reading suggests the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. All right, let's see what this does to the game. Continuing. Really? All the way back here. Okay. We're in the inner temple of the first. There has to be a way to skip past this dialogue. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful. You say it like it was a bad Pressing thing. Pressing buttons. Power in the right Opening hands. Opening programs an accident. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After Not all, skipping dialogue. Mother, no best. I only wanted what was best for my children. You only Would wanted. Would you hold that against me? Yes. Could you hold that against me? Yes, because you've made a crucial mistake. I have the power to make a my crucial mistake. Reality. A very I will give you a second chance. Very bad. I will give all living creatures very rebirth. embarrassing mistake. And before that rebirth, I mean I ask for only by rebirth thing. you're saying you're resetting your the universe death. and universe reincarnating everyone, right? In exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Why? Wow. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm going to need your help more than ever now because the universe is hanging by a thread. Why can't I pick this the up? The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, 
I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. Back in the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. Nope. But she did need you to visit all those places to yep. collect the time crystals. Because, because she, she had to disguise was her. three items and by extension, in the places. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory. We were and so they're watched. virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualise it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. I love the office. It's a really good show. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Yeah, the cloth. Anything that stands out? Great! And our neural connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. My readings suggest the second piece of the doctor's device is disguised as a tablet. You know what I should have done? I should have picked up the notebook entry when I had a chance back there. This one thing I can do is try one more time. This time I'm gonna read all the journal entries and see what I've got right. Not letting me take this up anymore. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful. All right, last try. Let's see if this works properly. Okay, so the Cyber Reaper is spooky. Daleks. Dalek technology. Alright. 
don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, mother, no thanks. I only wanted what was best for my children. Julius Grail. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that the against first. any parent? The only difference is that the time cabinet of Magnus Grail. To make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures Trionic lattices. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. The old death. The universal annihilation. The weeping angels. For a brighter tomorrow. Wow. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. in the land of the living are you there goes my the arm doctor again filled me in turns out she didn't need the zyton no she didn't need but the zyton but she did need you to visit she all those places three to collect the time crystals weird items because she knew the first yep she knew the first was distracted now she needs three items she managed to hide in the locations where i was those locations were the last things in the first's memory and so they're you know while the, the person was distracted looking at me in those locations destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. Where did she the get there without the TARDIS? The items, but all of Doesn't them matter. something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later that when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you. Because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Yes, there is. Anything that stands out? Any markings? Yep. When you see it, grab it. Wow. I'm getting, it looks like the first object you're after is a small clock. Grab it. Grail. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Following this journey. Anything that stands out? Any markings? When you see it, grab it. From the readings I'm getting, it looks like the first object you're after is a small clock. Grab it. You know, 
Is there anything in there that's not familiar? Easy. How else do I grab this? Anything that stands out? Any markings? When you see it, grab it. You know, Raccoon? I wish this game made a bit more sense. I wish the hitboxes worked, or at least that they didn't really have this as part of the game. It's not that good. The rest of the game, it's great. But this one moment, very painful. Very painful in a game that doesn't have great uh, great selection boxes. It's, it's wonderful how it looks like the first part of the task, part of the game, is to stand in place and somehow pick up these items. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Yes, in fact, everything here looks familiar because I've been here three times. Yeah. There's this marking on the back of this clock, which I can't reach. When you, see it, you know why I can't reach it? It just can't move. It doesn't even matter that it's within grabbing distance at some points. Watch. As I reset the game one more time, this is my last try. If it doesn't work, I'm closing and reopening the program because this is hilarious and also very stupid. Temple of the first, and here she is. Hello. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Okay, well that happens. Unbelievably powerful. You say it like it was a bad thing. I'm gonna organize your inventory, right here. Power in the right hands can be beautiful, and you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, mother, no bear. I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. All right, now let's go back. Universal annihilation in exchange for a Wait, raccoon. Tomorrow. What I don't understand is, how come, if we're Talk out here, and the computer is over there, I love you all. we can still hear it at max volume? You know what? I figured out the answer. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. Oh shit, the TARDIS okay. interior has been Hello, deleted. Almost. Oh right no, now, that Doctor, almost you're right. says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. of the living are you yes the for the me. fourth time Turns i'm back in the land of the living but she did need and i forgot all those to sit raccoon to down crystals, because she knew the first was watching her and by extension watching you those locations were the last things in the first where did you go and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality there you are destroyed. i've hidden three on. items one in each of three environments <laughs> The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their Wait, are you hiding appearance. back here, Raccoon? A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. 
I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. All right, come on, let's get back. Because the universe is so fractured, it's down. reach a location that still exists. You just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first goes in. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Yep, I remember it. I remember it Let pretty well. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. Louder. I'm losing you. Quieter. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Anything that stands out? Any markings? I will count to 50. When you see it, grab it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. From the readings I'm getting. Twelve. It looks like the first object you're Thirteen. Is a small clock. Fourteen. Grab it. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Wait, was that the clock that I was supposed to be grabbing? Anything Not the other one. Out? Any markings? When you see it, grab it. object you're after is a small clock. Grab it. Grail. Is my character's name Grail? Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Anything that stands out? Any markings? When you see it, Right. What I'm looking for are purple markings, and that changes everything. I thought I was looking for this thing. I thought this is the clock I was trying to find, because it has the weird symbol on the back. It could be either the clock with the purple, or the object with the symbol on its back. From the readings I'm getting, it looks like the first object you're after is a small clock. Grab it. Grail. That is a clock, right? Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Anything that stands out? Any markings? When you see it, grab it. Object because the, the only thing that's generating like particles the like that after is, is this object. Clock. Grab it. Not the Grail. clock with purple. This thing, whatever it is. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? You know, I knew this would happen. refresh this I 
This is just going to take a minute. Unless I have a pickaxe. Raccoon? There we go. Here's some food, by the way. Come on. There we go. Okay. We're in the inner temple of the first. And here she is. Finally, I fixed that glitch. Rush. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful. What? You say it like it was a have bad thing. I power gained right nothing. Hands, I already had it in the journal. Beautiful. There was there was no point. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. All right, After I won't. All, mother, no bed. Mm -hmm. I only wanted what was best for my children. I bet you, you did. Could you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? You know, the I've been through this is, enough times. I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. Maybe this and is part of the game. Rebirth, and maybe it's intentional. Maybe you're supposed thing. to quit the game. And restart it. Because that's what she's trying to do. So in order to beat her, you have to beat her at her own game. This story is deeper than I thought. That's pretty cool. Yo, that's me whenever I go to bed. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now. Because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. That's right. Back in I'm the land back. of the living, are you? That is correct. The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals. Because she knew the first was watching her. And by extension, watching you. The, the those first locations commenter, were the last things in the first The true memory. antagonist and so of all of Doctor And so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items. One in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items. But all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Why are you telling her? Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. But I'm winning the game. Is there anything great? And our neural connection is... This is so much easier. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. You got it. We need just one more piece. Which means one more memory. 
This is annoyingly easy. What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans? I am. Ignore her. Just find the third object and let's get out of here. If you insist. You did it. We've got the final piece of the device. I'm going to pull you back to the temple so we can put the three pieces together. We're back. Oh, what happened? I lowered the volume. That is what I did. The objects, they're here. But what do we do now? You're too late. Don't you see that? No. I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. My lot, my people. They reckoned the first might make it here someday, so they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave while you're out. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to me. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce, she refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. I can't adjust the volume and dialogue levels for uh, dialogue and music, by the way, the sound effect. It's just master volume, and even then, sometimes it doesn't work. These aren't subtitles, though. But now. To Sonic the device. That's what I thought you were gonna say. Holy shit. I killed her. She had her own Doctor Who intro and everything. Think of me kindly when I'm gone. When you see a sunset or flowers, remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. For you. I don't want you to get too big in the boots, but guess what? I reckon you just saved the universe. Alright, I saved the universe. That's very good. I mean, it's it's pretty typical for me, but it's pretty good for most people. The first's been flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Good news, without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality's snapping. Every time I adjust the volume, it gets undone. You know what? I'm so angry about that. I'm going to give Raccoon a Japari bun. You don't want any? Fine. Back to the game. Back into place. Right, let's get going. Always love this bit. Less good news. Because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. She'll try time and again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. She'll always return. That's why you've always got to be there to stop her. Till I could come up with a long-term solution. Not gonna lie, getting some weird readings. Sorry I misled you, I didn't have a choice. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. 
I figured she might intercept some messages, but knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. All the time, though, me, you and Emma were working together. Thought you'd forgotten about me there. Would I do that? And Emma, I'm gonna download your consciousness into a synthetic person, so you can live your life and... The Cloister Bell. Oh, I really must alter the sound setting on that thing, because that chime... Oh, it always scares me to death. I might change it to the teddy bear's picnic. What is it? It's an old song. Used to make my grandma laugh. Oh, well, it goes off when wild catastrophes are imminent. Which is why I'm dropping you two off. We're back, but oh. something's changed. Whether you know it or not, you were in a time loop. But it's been disrupted. The readings almost suggest it's being manipulated by the... No. Couldn't be. You two better get out there and do your thing. But be careful. I'll find out what's causing the cloister bell to go off. Then I'll pop back and see you're both okay. We want to come with you. Really sudden change in emotion. Trouble, we stick together. Too dangerous. I'm sorry. Also, where was the doctor there? I didn't see her at all. before it vanished. Looks like the reality virus hasn't been wiped out. A version of it's still at play, and it's stronger than ever. Hang on. There's a little bit of jiggery pokery. I should be able to... Ah, there we go. I'm on the telly. Hello. Ah, oh, it's the doctor right. again. Where was I? I'm the doctor. Just probably not the one you were expecting. You're the doctor. Oh, yes. You don't sound anything like the doctor. Well, I must do a bit. No, teeny bit. Hmm? Nothing like that. In fact, I read her. Oh. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see River's face. She'll be in seven. Sorry, sorry. Easily distracted. Did our doctor send you here? A, nobody sends me anywhere. Two, I'm here because of the time glitches, sending everything all timey, wimey, lemon and lime. And, small eye, small eye, small eye, a friend of mine gave me a tip-off about a million years from now. Or was it last week? Anyway, point is, I need your help. We'd love to muck in, Doctor, but we're trying to work out where our Doctor is. And then there's the little matter of us having to save all of reality. Sounds fun. Well, I say fun. I'm guessing it's slightly stressful. Well, I say slightly. Doctor, uh, uh, that easily distracted thing, Happening again. Do you know where she is? No, but I know what's waiting for you out there. How do you know what's going on when you're from the past? Like I said, I've got a friend. A friend from the future who's not letting me sonic screwdriver it. Can't reveal too much, otherwise I'll break the Blinovich paradox and I could destabilize the universe again. Right. I'm not sure I follow you. Well, it's a fancy way of saying I can't give you too many spoilers, but the thing you know as the reality virus has been modified by some old friends of mine. Who's in control of it now? The Cybermen. So the time glitches the virus causes are going to get more extreme. In your reality, where you are right now, the Cybermen have already conquered Earth. That's done. Nothing can change that. You've got to find out what their next move is, because it's going to be big. And you're going to have to stop it. How can we stop the Cybermen? Not going to lie, it's a big ask. But somewhere out there in the junkyard, there's the head of a decapitated Cyberman. Find it. Any reason? Or should this I is ask? a very cool plot. It should reveal what the Cybermen are planning. Then you have to find the Doctor, and... And that's it. That's all I can tell you. Sorry. Sorry. You're on your own from this point. You can't just leave us. Mm, uh, well, you kind of can. kind of have to. But if it's any consolation, I have a funny feeling we'll meet again. Look, right now, I've got planets to save. And you've got to stop the universe conky now. So what are we all waiting for? Ow, Z! I think the Doctor might have upgraded the Sonic. Try it. 
right on the door now. Yeah, this is cool. It works on one door, but not the other. Ah, shit. Alright. I'm gonna fight Cybermen the way I was taught. With bleach. Here we go, raccoon. You ready? Shit. I've done a quick scan, and it looks like the cyber skull is on the other side of the jungle. Why are you immune to bleach, Cyberman? You shouldn't be immune to bleach. Fuck. Alright, where are the, uh, where are the other trophies? No, I don't want to go here yet. Yeah, detect this. How about... How the fuck did you get here? is an explanation. You don't see me. Do you see me? Are you walking into a wall? 
doesn't matter. They didn't look like didn't look like there was anything valuable in that junkyard area. Blast with the sonic screwdriver. Not yet. Virus has been reformatted using superior Mondasian technology. Point four. Gamma level security includes a notification protocol. Your presence has been detected and reported to the nearest cyber ship. Point five. You will be deleted. Thanks. A cyber ship. We've really got their attention now. Looks like the TARDIS is on the cyber ship. And they got it up there using some sort of transmat. There you go. Making sure making sure you're all good there. Alright, raccoon, I'm continuing with this game. Done it. The reality virus must have done its thing and increase the volume, yeah. It does that. Yeah, I think it's a cyber warship. Have a poke around whilst I try to hack into its systems. I've had a nose around the ship's data banks, and it's good news, bad news time. Bad news is this ship is en route to tell. The Cybermen are looking to revive their frozen armies hidden away there, so the extra soldiers can take advantage of the chaos caused by their reality virus. But the good news is, I've detected an individual with two hearts. Gotta be the Doctor. Let's find him. But be careful. This place is crawling with Cybermen and their nasty little pets, the Cybermats. There you are hope it's in the, corridors, the Doctor. So there must be a security field we can hack into. No. The 
See that wall screen? Maybe we can decrypt some useful intel. That's not good. Nope, that's fine. Brilliant. Now we can see what the Cybermen are up to. It looks like we can take control of the Cybermats from here. This is beautiful. This is... This is very high quality. Alright, Cyber... Cyberman, you're coming with me. Don't wake up yet. Come on. This is the edge of reality. I'm a Cybermat. Cybermat. Cinematic shot. Get get in position. I'm making a I'm making a cinematic scene. This is a this is a movie. Don't wake up. Just get in position. There we go. James Bond. But Cyberman, Cyber, James Bond, come on. Let's keep going. Nope, don't, don't climb on the wall. Let's keep going. Hey, buddy. Lightning. You don't notice a thing, other than Cyberman, huh? You're not escaping me. Everybody joins my party. Come on. All right, team. We can turn this game around in the last quarter. We just need to believe in ourselves. Okay, well, while you two discuss, I'm gonna be going over here with my friend. What's down this way? Just gotta check real quick. Nothing. go down there at all I can't this is as far as I can go huh that's unfortunate
if you're so superior, how do you forget about me when I turn a corner? Cyber Reaper, a hunter, a legend. I thought they were just ghost stories, legends, warnings. This is the millionth time you've seen it. You've commented about it before. What is it doing here? It must be the reality virus. When that Cyberman passes, I'm gonna check out the corridor. If there's nothing. There is nothing. Then I'm going back here. Raccoon, just so you understand, my plan is to go through this open door behind me. 180. And then, once I turn this corner, I'm going to feed you a Japari bun. All right, back to work. Now I know it seems like these Cybermen are sleeping, but it's really just one Cyberman connected at the head. This is over here. This is my friend, the Cyberman. Over here, this is my other friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, I can detect an individual with two hearts below us. Take the elevator down. Yeah, I really hope that is the doctor and not somebody else with two hearts. Good shit. I guess I'll never find any other items. There. Another control panel. There we go. Here's hoping the Cyberman isn't right there. If it is, that's bad. If it's not. That's okay. Hello. I'm the rogue element you're after. But where's my spot in the periodic table? You'll never find out. Go back to walking over there. You'll never find me. Okay, you're not gonna fall. Okay. The walking sounds are getting louder for a minute. I thought they might follow me down. That's a Cybermat I'm gonna control. I can see it down there in the, in the distance in the corner. No pages. Don't, don't notice anything here, Cyberman. Shit. Come on. Let me move you. I can't, there's a wall. That's it. Not a lot of gameplay this time.
In that case, I'm going to start with the other hallway, where there are Cybermen that are still alive. Another... I see. I have to find another control panel. Hey, Holy there. shit, it's the doctor. Terrible to see you again. No offense. You see, I almost had it. Or thank you, as we used to say. Ugh, I snuck in here using the vortex manipulator I rigged up. It burnt out, but those things are cheaped out at the best of times. Anyway, then I sealed off the cell because I created a telepathic link with the Siberian. And let me tell you, that's not easy. You think getting through to a dentist on a Sunday morning is tricky? Walk in the park compared to establishing a dialogue with that thing. I mean, I've made it sound more trivial than it is to a poor choice of words. And what exactly is that thing? The Siberian. Kind of like a repository of all cyber knowledge and history. It thought it was interrogating me. But I was unlocking it. So, what's the plan? Why does everyone always assume I've got a plan? I don't even know what I'm having for lunch yet. Looks like it's open by a handprint. Not just any old hand. We need one that's limited to two fingers and a thumb. Maybe we can find some spare parts if there's some sort of conversion room. All right, doctor. I'm going the other way for a minute, just to see how far I can go. This, this might kill me. But only if there are more Cybermen around that corner. You will not prevent the upgrade. Yeah, and you won't prevent me from going down here. Good job being security guard. Well, I found the panel. Are you okay? Really? Just one? I mean... I guess I could ignore them. It's some sort of conversion chamber. We're too late to save those people being cybertized. Weird. Different iterations of Cybermen are being created. Must be experimental. Let's go. That's... Easier said than done. Ah, you do have intelligence. Not good for me. Okay, multiple Cybermen. Not good for me at all. Those doors look closed in the walls, so. That was a, that was a weird glitch. Saw the universe for a moment there. Yep. 
Well done. You did a good job. Protecting rogue elements. I could go through there. Doesn't really seem worth it yet. This place might be relevant. Soon. No, it's relevant now. I was supposed to go there. Okay, so I have to do the thing that I didn't want to do. Wonderful. The plan is this. The Cyberman, not at the computer, but the one right after it. The one standing there by an opening. I'll distract it, run around the control center room. Where I have the machine to activate this Cybermat. And then walk past it. I don't remember what the doctor wanted to do, but... Damage detected. Not the best idea. I am a rogue element. Come on. Come on, try. On at least put a tiny amount of effort. Do your deleting thing. If you even can. And you can't, what a shame. Can I go through here? I can't. Look at that Cyberman gaming. Cyberman is really busy gaming right now. You are a sorry, sorry, sorry. Go back to Minecraft. Is there a point to being able to enter here? Gamer, take your steps. Yes, I'm right here. Come on. Yeah, I, yeah, I will. Step forward. All right, I have no choice but to try to go here. Wow, these Cybermen are not good at converting people. I guess it's the classic example of tortoise in the hare. This is the age of steel. Maximum upgrade. You will be deleted. The point of this 
I do not know. Come on, everybody. This way. One at a time. Follow the rules of the tour. Welcome to my Cyberman conversion factory. Here I convert people into Cybermen. It's really cool. It's my job, sort of. No. Brilliant. I reckon we can use this to unlock the doctor's cell. I pick that up, right? Oh, great. got the page. You know, I feel like I should have summoned Slenderman 20 pages ago. But alright. Oh no, where is it? Give a shit. Come on, Cybermen. There's another control panel we can use. Will I? Can you follow me around this corner? Oh, that was very observant of you, gamer. This time you actually noticed that I was there. What you didn't notice is that there's a corner. And another corner. And now, you've forgotten about me. I guess you could say... You were cornered. By my evasive tricks. Oh, is that an alarm? Yes. I just developed a really bad headache. Good. Let's implement the standard operating procedure for whenever you hear an alarm. Hit the snooze button. Okay. This just in. This ship is no longer a ship. It's been... mutesignated. We're close to the fourth Cyber Legion now. So most of the Cybermen on board this ship can just transmat over to the main fleet, which is faster, more efficient. Gamma level security. The Cybermen know I've escaped from the cell, so they've initiated the self-destruct protocol. Huh. Makes sense. When is a ship not a ship? When it's a bomb. Just to get rid of me. That's them off my Christmas card list. Right, we've got to get out of here fast. Well, fast-ish. All right, Doctor. I've got to get back in there and finish interrogating the Siberian. Find out what the Cybermen's endgame is, and you have to destroy the ship's force field so I can pull the TARDIS in, and then we okay. can all escape. I just spend half my life escaping. So I'm so jealous of people who just leave. Actually, it's probably a bit boring. Help right. you get to the Siberian. What are you waiting for? Uh, we're waiting for the slightest clue about how we take out the force field. Take and I'm sending force you field. the coordinates of the unit you need to deactivate. Oh. Once you've done that, should be easy to grab the TARDIS. I parked it there on the way. We're going our separate ways. One second, Doctor. I have a raccoon to feed. Making sure you're happy, raccoon. Back to gaming. Any word about the coordinates? Straight on. There we go. It's 
right back where we were, huh? Right here. No. Yes. Yes, it is right back where we were. The soundtrack right for this game is good. That's something that I've noticed. Here we go. Sonic screwdriver time. Oh no. The Cyber Reaper. Still can't access all systems. But at least I memorized the get yet. I'll guide you to the bridge. Shit, that was a mistake. Nope. I'm going to be 100% honest. If that was the Cyber Reaper, I was really disappointing. I mean, it was... It was something they were building up for the entire game. The story to the game has been pretty good so far. I mean, it is a lot faster than you... Ah, I can teleport. That's what makes it threatening. Shit. Try that again. Oh no. The Cyber Reaper. Less intimidating. Still can't access all systems. But at least I memorized the deck plans. I'll guide you to the bridge. Straight on. Cyberman. Please don't teleport onto my teleporter. Or elevator. Same difference. Is it now? Wow, you're right. Watch this. And teleport. What do you mean, left here? What the fuck? Okay. So ignoring that. Oh no! The Cyber Reaper. What? Still can't access all systems. But at least I memorized the deck plans. I'll okay. Guide you to the bridge. All right. Straight on. But well, wouldn't it? I can't even see. I'm moving based. Right. 
All right, I'm assuming I'm able to. Yep, it's working ish. No, did you catch up to me? Damn it, you caught up to me. All right, so this game has a problem where you have to physically relaunch the. You have to. Or not physically, you have to complete. This game has a problem where you have to relaunch it. Because when you repeat scenes, oh no. it starts to the break. Cyber this time it's sort of back to normal. I'll guide you to the bridge. Straight on. Turn right. You know, I thought the Cyber Reaper was our was on our side. Left here. I thought that to get to the top floor. because Take it wasn't hostile up. to us, the Cyber Reaper would have been our friend. That's not true. It hates us. of intimidating look it's gonna show up right there right here. don't me lead me into the wall this time Go left. Turn right. it's amazing how the dialogue to turn left was in the wrong hallway. Um, it's funny. What's going on? Why do I see a TARDIS? Can it be? Thank you. Meant I could use the Cybermen's transmat to get on board and materialize around you. I should have mentioned that part of the plan. Sorry, short on time. Did you get anywhere with the Siberian? I did. The Cybermen have upgraded the first reality virus. Why would they want the chaos that will bring? I thought the Cybermen were all about logic and order. Yeah, at any cost. They believe the chaos their virus unleashes will make planets super vulnerable to mass cyber invasion. Okay. So they're betting that societies right across the galaxies will be in no state to resist their armies. So it's this more than that, plot... They think that with reality unraveling, people will actually want to be There's upgraded. this cyber virus... Well, it's not even... There's this reality virus to help restore universal that order. disintegrates sure parts of the universe which may prove costly for them. by their causing it to shift into possible first. future versions but of itself. But that's because it's not organic. It needs a power source. So we Letting, just need to find fracturing it the universe of time then, into multiple dimensions. There are three transmitters hidden in three different locations. We need to find them all. We disable those transmitters, and this whole nightmare ends. Okay, we're about to emerge from the time vortex. Let's see what's left of the universe. Here we go. Second century. Something's off, though. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasma, Cybermats, the first, and the Cyber Reaper. You didn't think I was going to sit this one out, did you? Seriously? Allons-y! No. Looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. Keep up. That, that dumb. Wow. Daleks are turning into a This is very interesting and loud. Alright, Raccoon, this is the final stretch. You here with me? Let's get you at your best. 
and let's go. Completing this final chapter of the game. Don't forget, we need to track down and destroy the force field units so the Doctor can get the TARDIS here. Oh, why did my game crash? Shit. I wanted that slender page. If I had more time in the TARDIS, I would have checked with my, uh, what the hell? Is the game broken? Wonderful. A glitch requiring you to stop and start the game. I didn't have to completely close the program that time. Which is good. Oh. The weird gadget thing here that I could check my achievements in is gone now. Looks like Mars, 22nd century. I was about to say, it looks something's like Mars, off, 22nd century, but something's off. And I bet you we're about to shift, and a bunch of Daleks are going to start to to furniture. One of them's going to be a carriage. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasma, Cybermats, the first, and the... And the lowering of the volume. A cyber reaper. You didn't think I was going to sit this one out, did you? Seriously? Allons-y! Oh, looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. Keep up. That's a beautiful running animation for the Doctor. Shit. Don't forget. We need to track down and destroy the force field units so the Doctor can get the TARDIS here. Oh, Weeping Angel. Why do you keep freezing? Uh, was that giant statue facing this way a minute ago? Fell off the tube. The have built an amplifier around fragments of the glass. That must be one of the lighty virus transmitters. Looks like the doctor needs a hand. Help the doctor deactivate that transmitter. Doctor is a cyberman. Doctor, what are you gonna do? Doctor, oh no. Eh, it doesn't care. Meaning I have all the time in the world to explore. All the disintegrating time in the disintegrating world. Goodbye, Cyber Reaper. Space continuum packs quite a punch. We've been catapulted into another weak spot in reality. The next transmitter must be near. Allons-y! There it is. Right behind you, Doctor. I'm guessing this is Earth. Sort of. That sculpture isn't mated to Mars. Is it? Nope, we're still on Mars. Looks like Earth, though. Oh no! The Cyber Reaper is still following us. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna stop. I don't think it can stop. All those Cybermen it took apart, it gained the ultimate ability to infinitely chase its target by teleporting to them between fragmented realities, except not teleporting on top of them, just slightly behind them so that they can run away from it.
Where's the doctor? We're on our own now. Jokes on you, Cyber Reaper. Even though you can teleport on top of things, this moving platform is too advanced to do. Some of this orbiting wreckage is passing pretty close. Hitch a ride. Up above. See if you can get on that chunk of pillar. This is a cool concept. Can we jump onto that curve, please? This is our chance. Use the sonic to take out the power source of the reality virus. Goodbye, reality virus. And hello, TARDIS. Nope, not the TARDIS. But a really, really cool place. I mean... I did it. I escaped. Ah, shit. Down. Are they? Oh. Yeah, they are. Great. My vertigo is kicking in. Big time. Steady. These objects are unstable. Very cool. Using previously established parts of the story and game. Watch your footing. Stenza egg. Well, this is just weird. And after everything you've been through, that means weird is bringing its A game. I don't know about you, but this is making my brain itch. Yep, it's very hard to find the last mini scope objects. 
I'm trying. Doctor's here. Don't try anything. Final confrontation. We'll kill you. The Cyber Reaper. At last. The ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Not as tall as you look on telly. Go what? on then. Let's have it. The bit where you lay it on thick with a bit of cyber gloating. You know it's weird. For a race that's got no emotion, it feels like you lot love rubbing it in when you think you've got the upper hand. All that you will be deleted stuff. Ah. Why don't you ever just crack on with it? We understand the value of fear. There we go. To humans, that to explains Cybermen. it. After all these years, after all these battles, after all these defeats, for you, so, that is not me. The reason you it would slowly impossible. chase me. Emotions are how we live. They're why we live. It's because it wants to show us fear. That's why it would slowly scream that it would delete us without actually catching up to us. It's an intentional strategy. Hear that, raccoon? It's all part of the plan. All part of the cyber plan. These years, after all these battles, after all the losses of loved ones. I shouldn't have paused the game. You do not us. You do not understand. Understand what? Your lack of emotion is your greatest strength, Doctor. Pausing that the game fact messes up each camera shot. That's great. To what lot? To you. No. You are the ultimate warrior. The, the lantern is speaking. Not the Cyberman. Is that what you think? Tree. You reconfigure your friends. Strip away their safety. And harvest their strengths. You upgrade them to soldiers. You have one goal. Wow. Victory. And your reluctance to acknowledge the rights of your enemies is... Is what exactly? Logical. You will break the transmitter to destroy our virus. The logical yeah. lamp. Natural reality will set back into hey. place and all hey, will be restored. Job done. So, look at this angle. Eradicate the new realities created by the virus. This is some Where beautiful direction. You must choose. Amazing. Victory this is very intense. Kindness. You must decide whether you have a warrior's heart. Or a compassionate heart in one reality. You but the doctor has two hearts. Is that is that good? Pompadour. Yes. You felt love for this human. Is love that is gonna be the answer? And you lost her. But in this new reality, he stayed with her. They developed a family unit. They are kids. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Stop it. Stop this. Oh, reality is warping. We're in the next dimension. Taking two minutes to lash up a video recorder out of an astrolab and his psychic paper. Ooh. You're losing your touch, Doctor. Doctor. Huh. No one's called me the Doctor for years. And that's fine. I used to love it, though. Swaggering in somewhere. I'm the Doctor. This is Romana, Susan, Jamie, or Sarah.
very sad, Doctor. I feel bad for you. But I have a universe to save. And a miniscope collection to complete. Look at that. Very nice, inviting skies. The water looks neat. The stairs are countless. The parkour is lacking a bit. But the visuals make up for that. Sometimes, when I'm sitting with your mum, she asks me, where have you gone? And it'll be Scarlet, or Gallifrey, or Unit HQ. But I just shrug and say, no, uh, I was just thinking about it. Because I know she feels guilty. Even though I've told her a million times that this little house, with you lot in it, means more to me than everything out there put together. so much bigger on the inside. Hmm? That was a very wonderful line. All right. Is there anything anyway, on the I walls that I can pick up? In case ham. Happens to me. They spell out ham. The blocks in the wall. This is it. That is the true meaning of the universe. I want you to look after your mother. When you're old enough, she'll tell you stories of scary clockwork monsters who came to get her. The fireplace that would take her to the stars. Before it broke. And a man from another world who rode to her rescue on a big white horse. Yeah, maybe she'll share Alright, I story thought I recognized that name. It's About the historical person from made of song. the Fireplace Clockwork People episode. Odd choice of person to stick with, although the ending of that was pretty sad. She still thinks I regret losing all that, but she's so wrong. Didn't s seem like the doctor wanted I to when I settled down with give her, up I traveling in that episode, but I guess he did, or... This, they decide to live with each other after that. Like, he... That ended, then he changed time to go back before she died. Changed the course of history. Or it was an alternate enough. timeline from the beginning. In this reality, the Doctor and his family live tiny lives. They are made happy by acts of irrelevance. Look at that. You are on record as claiming... But for some people, small, beautiful events are what life is all about. You would destroy that, Doctor. For your victory. Beside the Reaper. All these years, I thought you had one purpose. To destroy the enemies of the Cybermen. This is... But that's not quite it. This is really cool. Your one mission is to find those enemies. And nullify them. And you've done it. I can't make this choice. So you've got to. You're the doctor now. Wow, I've become the doctor. The 14th doctor is confirmed. It's not anyone you thought it would be. The 14th doctor is this. Semper it Hero. Depends on you now. Let's go. One last transmitter. Run for it. This is a really cool concept, so by creating all these possible timeline branches... It actually did create multiple Doctors. With multiple goals and happy lives. 
the Doctor knows that by repairing the universe into one that the Cybermen can't as easily conquer, she's giving up a lot of happy experiences she would be having. You for, you know, saving the universe. And the she also murdered the virus all of her children. Well, no, technically, I murdered all of her worse. children. Hey, you're probably wondering where Emma is. Emma! I'm the best companion okay? ever, let's be real. Loud and clear, Doctor. Loving your role in TARDIS. What is it with you and Hexagonal decorations? Alright, one moment. Raccoon, let's take a moment to give you some food. We're approaching five hours. Five hours of playing this game. Alright. How's the new body? Amazing! Give us a tick. I kept my word. Downloaded Emma into a synthetic body so she can move about, feel, taste, take part, do all the things we sometimes take all right, for granted. Alright, where is she? Where is she, the Doctor? Only problem was, after all the adventures she had gallivanting about with you, she wanted more of the same. So I took a few temporal liberties and sent her back in time. Yeah, she's gonna go traveling with someone I think you know. Actually, he can tell you himself. Yep, Left old Doctor. I'll patch it through. Very cool. Hello. Just wanted to say thanks. Odds. I understand you had a very difficult decision to make and you didn't shirk it. Good work, shirk. Come on, Doctor. Her ladyship won't tell me what the decision was about. Yeah, I, I decided to kill all of your children. Hard sometimes, isn't it? Get I'm sorry, on. Doctor. It's, Emma uh, told me she's going to share some information. It's something that you probably don't want to hear. Anyway, better I mean, get even going. Emma wants to find out what it's like to live. Decision, so, pretty much. And you know what? I really want to go. Wow, you wanted to go so badly. His hologram immediately just disappeared. No fade out or anything. We've wandered. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? What happened to Take a look. What happened to your audio? Doctor? Doctor, no. I, I, I don't want to take a look just yet. Let's... Let's go somewhere else, Doctor. Let's... Let's keep traveling. Come on. Come on, let's... let's I don't want to go back just yet. Well, make, make me a biscuit with a biscuit machine. Thank you, biscuit machine. Damn. So many items I never got. This orb. This bowl. This glass. Those goggles. That helmet. That tablet. And that scroll. I'll never see them. My time in the TARDIS is over. A million years from now. Or was it last week? Reality itself was almost destroyed. It was saved by a hero. A mysterious traveler in time and space. Yeah, it was saved by you. And now my reward is to wash my clothes and do my laundry. Can I... Can I skip this? Can I lower the volume? Can I pause this? No? Really? There's nothing... It... Okay. I guess this is it. Raccoon. Raccoon, we completed the game. We completed the game, Raccoon. We became the doctor. We killed the doctor's family, and we were companions. But most importantly, we gained the freedom to finish our laundry. Well, Raccoon, I think we did a good job today. Well, well, this is going on. Or is it almost over? Looks almost over. It was made with unity. It really was.
everyone came together in the end. Is this it? No. No, I'm not repeating the cutscene. Oh. There are a lot of languages. Very cool. Don't want to see the credits again. Well, that was the Doctor Who game. It had a lot of glitches. So, I'd say in terms of polish, the game gets a 1. In terms of... Well, enjoyability, the game gets a 9. It's very good. In terms of concept, the game also gets a 9. The start with a realistic immersive environment of a laundry room. And then the instant pull into a Silent Hill-esque dimension. That was very interesting. It was a really cool concept that eventually turned into a... Uh, more of a standard Doctor Who adventure by the time we meet Emmer and by the time we found the first what's her name the first spoonhead it became a very different game one where you had to physically close the game and reopen it and also, it was just more of a weird Doctor Who adventure, but it was still fine. The idea that the reality virus was somehow continued and controlled by the Cybermen was strange. The idea that the Cybermen had the Cyber Reaper who could teleport, well, that was kind of strange, but it was also cool. It sort of made sense. There's plenty of cyber technology throughout Doctor Who that had capabilities similar to what you saw the Cyber Raper do. And the idea that it went right back into weird dimension stuff right after the first was defeated, that was cool. The Cybermen infested city was a very neat idea. So... I think this is cool. I think this is a cool game. In terms of story overall, it gets about a 4, I think. I mean, it gets 3 out of those 4 points for just the Silent Hillish dimension y concepts and how that really pulled off visually, how it was told. Including seeing the Doctor in different monitors. That was a really neat experience at first, because I didn't see any of that coming. It was very nice and natural. It gets the other one point for being an overall conclusive Doctor Who story with Doctor Who ways of fighting the monsters and saving the day. It loses six points for not really making a lot of sense, but... That's fine, because it was really cool and really fun, and the concepts are great, and the visuals are also great when they don't have little polish issues, like the TARDIS changing significantly between scenes, or how pausing the game can break it. But yeah, overall this is a very, very fun game. It was neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed playing that raccoon. Are you hungry? You want to get food? Well, I got some Japari bars right here. Have some... Have some pet. And Japari bun. Well, that was fun. You want to take the TARDIS and go somewhere cool? Alright.
yeah, what's Chicago New Dimension? 